So the next way you can isolate an object and it, it's a little bit more um, of a better look and you have more control is by making layer masks and so one thing you want to get in the habit of doing is making copies of your layers so you don't ruin the original but the way a layer mask works if you look on your um, layers palette there's an icon down here that'll add what's called a mask and you're gonna use your brush tool to create these masks and with this brush tool you can paint either black or white black is gonna hide objects white will reveal so it's a great way for you to custom kind of erase areas um, and I would suggest adjusting your hardness based on how you want to erase things so if you want it to be a pretty clean edge you want the hardness to be up the brush size should be close to what you're trying to erase. If you notice now when I'm painting with black it erases the object and you'll also see that the black shows up here as a mask. So what's nice about layer mask is if you go into your part that you didn't want to erase you can bring it back and it really helps you kind of fine-tune any um, isolations or selections that you want to make. So what I would do with this one we're gonna cut out this hamburger I'm gonna bring my hardness up to about 90 percent and slowly kind of just go along the edges and adjust my brush size as needed and kind of erase this object to uh, bring it into another photo and um, it kind of gives you some nice nice options and like I said remember you can switch black back and forth between black and white to add or remove parts of the picture and the, the mask will always stay there, so you can just take that entire layer over and still make adjustments afterwards even when you're done.